What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, Big Oz. So, today we're gonna be working a very uh, uh, specific detail that you don't see very often. So we see actually, see a lot of X guard attack, but today we're gonna be the opposite. We're gonna see how we destroy the X guard in a way that you won't get swept and you're gonna be able to pass the person guard with no problem. So if you having a, a, a hard time, how to pass, how to deal with the X guard, the full X, this video is for you. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start right here. Uh, let's understand a little bit of how to deal with uh, uh, with the X guard. So let's understand first what the person needs to do, what needs to have to approach and get the sweep, the execute the sweep uh, in a way, uh, uh, take this, do the sweep or take my back. Doesn't matter. Whatever he has, uh, I have to keep eyes on. Okay. So number one D to that I want to show, I want to share with you guys here. So let's go straight for the. Let's go head this way. So let's go straight. Yeah, head away. Into the X guard detail. Move this way for a second. So understand here. He has the X right saddle. Okay, so number one priority that he had is to keep your feet connect, control my knee, and extend me out. Okay, so whenever he extended me out, stay, yeah, stay here. Like that, my priority or my leg priority is not this one. A lot of people think that's this one, but I really wanted to focus on the foot that's over his shoulder. If that foot is off the mat, he take off. And take me off balance. So first thing first, that, that foot had to anchor on the mat, had to be on the mat. So I have to distribute weight on this leg right here. Okay? But my hand's gonna be somewhere. Okay? So keep eyes on it. If you hold the collar, this hands can go there and hold my sleeves. And now he has my leg plus my arm. So be careful with this grip. Okay? So if you go same side collar, he holds us. But now what you can do is you can go on the opposite side collar, pull it out, and have this grip as an anchor right there, just to keep my weight on this leg. Okay? And then from here, to avoid him to come up, one of the best way is don't keep a hands in the air. Okay? The best way uh, uh, to don't let him come up is not holding the collar, okay? If I'm here, extend my leg, he falls, and then I'm gonna balance in the air, okay? So I have uh, this grip, I have a, uh, not that I have, he has this grip, he has this grip, so now what I'm gonna do, it. my hands have to be right here on the belt. A lot of people ignore the belt. I believe it's like one of the most, the beautiful connections that you can have Holding the belt. Now, no joke. On one hand, extend me away. My anchor is here. My weight is on the belt. So there, no way. There is no way that he can extend the leg. So go for it. So number one did is to how to control, how to manage my weight in here. Okay. And then we're gonna see how we start destroying the X guard. But first thing first. What you have to do to stay here, look for the belt here, and now he's gonna start extending. Boom! If you try to knock me down with the bottom hook, my base is right on my feet, and that's what you have to focus on. That's detail number one, okay? So, okay. so detail number two how to disconnect, how to destroy the person's connection. Super easy, okay? We talk about how we stay, how to manage our weight, how to body in the X guard, holding the belt, or maybe holding the far collar. I don't really like much the far collar because the person can hold my my sleeves. So let's go for the detail number two, how to destroy the X guard. So the person can be here, same, same thing. He has X guard, okay? So now I have this, number one, now number two, if he push me that way, I push my weight back this side. I distribute my weight in here. Now let's understand right here. If my weight is in here, 
Understand how to lock right here. His knees open, his feet is right there. I put my weight into this side on top of the head, and now I circle my foot over and in. So it's gonna be like this. I put my weight here, okay? I put my weight on this leg. Now circle my foot over. Now it's not, his ax disconnect. And then from here, I could go knee on belly, focus on it, and then get down. Or from here, I just go in, out, boom. And then go, my knee goes over the bicep, and then crunch it in right here and get the top position. So timing that is really good. So change side for a second. Yeah, push it that way. So move this way. Yeah, so from here, he goes there. So really want, I don't want my weight on the far leg. He can come up. I want my weight on the near side leg. So I put my weight in, circle. That's it, that's a really good drill. He react, he put connect, one, two. I put my weight there, boom. Keep his knees away from you and then crunch it in. So that's the detail number two, how to destroy the X guard. Okay. Now, detail number three, how to destroy the X guard. Another way, another easy way is, doesn't take much. You just have to understand what the person doing to keep him really tight, okay? So now, put the X guard to the other side. He has the X guard, understand here. You could start from the belt. The belt, you can stay there and work from the legs, okay? But I like to have a good posture, okay? So now, understand uh, which way you can do it. So X guard, his foot is holding here, his foot is holding here. So the best way is start going towards the back, like a back step, okay? So what's holding me to go into the back? It's the bottom hook. So if it's the bottom hook, I do like a little shake, see where is the tightness, where is the connection is. Okay, the bottom hook. What I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go there with this hand, push the bottom hook and bring his heel to his butt. Now walk out and walk. And then from here, it's like same thing. Crush it in and then get. So, so easy, so silly guys, is this, this connection. As long as you time bottom hook, push it out and open, open leg out. Now from here, this leg's on the front. If I go forward, this leg blocks me. So I keep right here, I be keeping the knee. And then block and then crunch it in, boom. Gets right there. Super easy, super easy. So stay on this side. I go there, he push me forward. I keep my weight in. Now I push the knee, foot, block. That's it. And then from here, my knee drop right in and then lock him in. And then from here, he gives me time to go to the pass and then boom, mount. So that's the tip number three, understand how to deal with the hooks, how the, the axe, free the bottom hook, pushing down. Super easy, okay? Okay, number four, uh, uh, how to destroy the axe guard. Let's understand once again how the axe guard happens, okay? So number four, it's right here. So I can start from the belt as a number one, right? And then, now how am I gonna connect? So my weight has to be straight down. My leg cannot be lighter. The only leg that has to be lighter is this one. Because my weight is on this one. Okay? Can I be the opposite? So I go on the belt. My anchor is gonna go there, heavy. Now I use his top leg to wipe the bottom leg. So I use round the toes, push down against. So now the top leg wipe down and then I still use the belt to hold the person down. And that's it. That's the next detail. Use the top hook to push the person like down. Okay, so you're here. Hold the belt so the person don't push you back and forth. Top leg goes round the toes. Round the toes, right there. Boom, hold. 
and now use that leg to push the leg down and now just start using you can do two things right here you can push back step or you can push and your knee goes in this way and now you pull with the belt and here you are with the pass those are the four strongest points that you can destroy any X guard as long as you know a way that a person not gonna push you easy so you have to distribute your weight in the right leg keep eyes in what the person needs to do to blow up and get the X guard sweep okay so those are four points that you have to keep a, 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 a good balance you have to know where you put your hands on it and, and those details are really really good and for sure can give a hard time to a lot of uh, X guard experts out there okay so just put in practice understand the game that you're doing it and this is it okay so if you like this video guys make sure you like share comment and send me a message I'll try my best to answer all uh, single of one uh, uh, every one of you guys so I'm gonna really try to uh, stay engaged stay connected with you guys because this channel is for you guys so keep sending me a message I'm gonna try cover it up as much as I can okay and once again if you want to check it out my instructionals at beautifulnext.com there's a lot of amazing instructions right there last guard how to pass how to pass half guard close guard close guard submissions uh, submissions from last guard uh, connection for your knee so there's a bunch of amazing uh, 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 course and instructionals out there so make sure you check it out at bgfanatics.com I'm gonna put the link right below this video on the, on the description and this is it guys thank you so much thank you guys so much I really appreciate your support if you like to see more videos make sure you like and subscribe my channel Peace.